welcome back to another train simulator video. So, good morning driver, the weather has worsened since the end of part 1, which was we haven't done part 1. After having arrived at Hampstead Heath, you will now be continuing the service to Wilston Junction, where your journey will end. Please let the passengers board here before departing. Right, okay, let's do that, let's uh, do that. I've never driven this train before, we are in the 172, um, which is quite a weird train, uh, I'm not going to lie. So especially if you look at the uh, other subclass of 172, it's like completely different. Um, so yeah, we're on here. Um, and, well, where are we at the moment? We're not on the diesel bit, are we? No, we're going to Wollstone Junction. I sort of wanted to be on the new bit. Well, not the new bit, but the Goblin line, uh, which is literally just here. And that then takes you up over to Barking, which is not there there so at some point we will go there <laughs> but as soon as we get to uh do they have a guard on here all right off we go this was weird a diesel train london overground oh the passenger view is quite nice it's actually quite a nice interior Back that up. I did actually get a key for this off uh, Dovetail Games, so big thanks uh, for the key. So yeah, we are we have got a free key for this. Show it off. Well, this bit I actually already had. The only bit I didn't have was the Goblin line. So when I saw the scenario, I was like, "Ooh, 25 minutes. Maybe it's on the new bit." Well, the the Goblin line, but not the new bit. Um, yeah, off we go. So I wonder what this. I mean, it's. It's alright, isn't it? Not bad. It's definitely better than the um, the Dovetail 170, that's for sure. Doesn't sound too bad either. I don't know what they sound like in real I mean, I've heard a turbo style before, so I'm guessing it would be near enough identical to that. Well, that being a 170 and a 171. Those wipers are actually quite satisfying. I know they keep going bam, 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 but they're not actually annoying. <laughs> okay, the brakes are pretty decent. Yeah, between uh, between Gospel Oak and Barking, the lines were diesel. They're not anymore, although they were. Now you've got the new overground trains running on them ahead. This is Finchley Road and Frognall. So yeah, this is the North London line at the moment we're on. It's just got so many stations on it. Here we are. Not too bad. Yeah, if you look up the other subclass of the uh, 172, which I think is a West Midlands railway train, so different. <laughs> It literally looks like, a t it looks like an electro star. Yeah, I think it's the 172-1 or dash 2. Yeah, it looks, it looks like an electro star. Well, it has more similarities to that in design. Right. Let's go. Look at that fiddy up. Loud one, isn't it? Oh no, not that. I want to press pause break. Although, I don't want to have that Steam thing saying screenshot saved. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a bit further along. Right, let's get back in. Right, so we come up to West Hampstead. So we should be going over the Midland Main Line shortly. This might actually be it down here. Yeah, that was the that's West Hampstead Thames went there. And 
here we are coming into West Hampstead. There we go. Where's the step? Probably it's, I think most of these is just to the end of the platform. So we will go to the end of the platform. Come to a fairly gentle stop. Here we are. This is West Hampstead. Because we're not saying Thames Link. And then after this one, we've then got Bronsbury. Yeah, those wipers are actually quite nice sounding. They're not annoying me. <laughs> Why does it keep saying it goes into emergency? We weren't in emergency brakes. We weren't. I think we were. Right, doors are closing. We're getting points as well. Not minus points. Right. Let's go. Let's go just full whack. Probably get a little bit of wheel slip. Test the metal a little bit. You can hear a wheel slip on it. Yeah, definitely it's wheel slipping, although surprisingly it's not coming up on the um, points saying wheel slipping minus 1000 points. Which is surprising. Where are all these other trains? It's the overground. There's another, as soon as I say that, there's a train. There's a capital star. The uh, 378. Pretty nice uh, units. Been on them uh, a few times. In fact, they are really nice, actually. Because it's like walk through the whole way. But like on an electro. On pretty much an electro star, but you can walk through the whole train like a 700. Sort of out the uh, gangways. It's. Cool. Here we are, this is uh, Bronsbury. On this rather wet and horrid autumnal day. Which actually doesn't actually reflect how it is outside at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's quite not sunny out there for autumn. And it's Bronsbury Park, Kensal Rise, and then Wollstone Junction. So a nice little service. Also, by having this route, it should also fill the gaps with the Sutton and Mole Valley line, as we did have a few gaps in scenery. Well, only at a couple of stations. So it should now sort that. Not a nice screenshot, but just just a thumbnail. Uh, let's try and do that again. Doesn't need to be great. As long as I've got space to put text on it and you can see what train it is, then we're all good. Uh, it's become more of a little photo shoot, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be quick. There we go. Let's get back in. Get that up to full. So I don't think they ran along this far. I thought they, um, yeah, I thought they um, only went as far as Gospel Oak and then terminated there. Although I suppose it is rush hour at the moment, so maybe that's why. On this uh, rather wet day. down. This is Bronzeberry Park. We've done this uh, route in three trains. We've done it well in the 172 now, the 378 and the uh, 313. The 313 being on Silverlink. Which is 
is a lovely train to drive. Part of the TS Pro range is its uh, AP. Here we are. I thought that might go red. Yeah, it's on train sim, like the hitbox of the train, I don't know what you want to call it, is much further forward, so it probably actually thinks we're like there. So that's what's gone red. Although when we go through that, it won't actually say spad because it thinks we've already gone past it. Well, it should do. into emergency for some reason. Hmm. Guard? Are you with me? I'll do it then. Right, let's go. We're off. I do like the interior though. It's actually quite a nice interior. But then with the turbo, the Southern Turbo Stars, they got nice interiors as well, quite similar to the uh, well Electro Stars. It's actually quite nice. I like it. Did anyone ever travel on one of the diesel overground trains? What did you think? Well, they're nice. They do look alright. Don't actually know what actually happened to the this subclass of the 172. Where are they now? Did they just get scrapped or where are they? Yeah, they're sort of a, they're a weird subclass, especially if you compare it to the other subclasses. It's like a big difference. we are. This is Kensal Rise. So fairly close-ish to the Bakerloo line, in which it's Kensal Green Station. If you are familiar with Transom World. Look, we're on break three at the moment. And that goes to emergency. Makes sense. But even on that air, I think we're in free. I don't know, that is weird. That wasn't like a quirky thing it did in real life, was it? Just set the brakes to emergency uh, when you come to a stop. Cancel rise. So we're doing to Wilson Junction, that was at 55? 47 still, I mean, it's only a mile away. Although we have got a double yellow, so that does explain things. And it does, it does say we will get that 55, so probably gonna have to wait. Let's go. Got a double yellow there. I wish we got the other ones as well. We never get the up and down. Hey, there's a uh, one of them. That's cool. We've even got the little five car train thingy on it. I like that. We might as well just coast. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting outside the station for bloody ages. Drive quality, we got points off for our drive. We were coasting along, and it's like, oh, not over it. Take away points. Such a cruel game at times when it comes to points. Hang on a second. Are we going on to where I think we're going to be going on to? We're not going to, we're going to go to the middle platform, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're going to go into the middle platform. 
which is sort of on the Bakerloo line. That is cool. I doubt we'll see any Baker Line trains uh, as they're not in Train Simulator. down here. Well, we are going to have to wait for a few minutes. Not cool. And there we go. We really do need to stick those brakes on. It's quite steep down here. I don't really want to be going for a red light either. Well, and now we wait for a few minutes. I don't actually know what we're waiting for, but uh, as we're on a Baker line trains, we're waiting for. I don't know. Got a lot of that screen, so let's get that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it really is chucking it down, isn't it? Not nice. So since we're doing that 55, uh, well, I'll contact the signaler. Denied, really. Is there something in there at the moment? Let's have a look. No, there isn't. We come from Woodgrange Park. Where's that? Yeah, this is where I think it would usually terminate. And it goes all the way up. Upper Holloway. What stations you got? Crouch Hill. And then that's the East Coast Main Line there. Haringey Green Lanes. I don't know this line really at all. South Tottenham. Um, Black Horse Road. What's this one here? Tottenham Hill, that's the um, Hartford Loop, I think, isn't it? Uh, what well, comes around, what else have you got? Wolvenstow Queens Road, some of these I don't know at all. That's the Victoria Line, I think, there, possibly. Uh, Leighton Midland Road, uh, Leighton Stone High Road, Honstead Park, we're getting there, I think. Woodgrange Park, so that's where our one come from, and then Barking. And then Barking Riverside is like down here somewhere. What's that? Dagenham Dock. That's high speed one there. Still red, eh? Still red. Come on. What are we waiting for? We'll get there. Thanks all for coming in. If you have enjoyed. Oh, yeah. that's, that's nice. If you have enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It all does help out. Let's get the cab soaked. And uh, yeah, do subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of thing. <coughs> well, it can't be long until it goes. Uh, so it changes just because the widget in there saying 55.11. I reckon. Oh. That's probably why. I thought, yeah, it's the Watford DC line as well. You do get overground trains going down there. I was just thinking Bakerloo, Bakerloo, but no, yeah. That is true, right. That should now clear. Wait. Clear. Might have to contact the signal there again there. I don't think they would have them on there, but that's quite cool. Now they've added in the Watford DC AI. We'll 
Well, down we go. Down the hill, and then into, uh, well, into the station. It's been quite a good run, not gonna lie. It feels weird going in. It's gonna feel weird going into the middle one. Can we go that way? Can we go left? Do it up to Harrow and Wardstone or Watford. Well, this is Wollstone Junction platform two. This is cool. Well, now we can say we've stopped here. All bit on train sim. Nice and slow. And how are they? Here we are, welcome to uh Boston Junction. Well that's me, they have an open. Cool. And I guess it will say scenario end in a second. Well, I love the little posters. Waiting for the next train won't hurt you. It won't. No, over like two minutes or every five minutes or so. Then you've got the bait. Oh my god, you've got the London Red buses here. If anyone can work out what, what, what bus model that is, well, go ahead. Uh, anyway, good job driver, time to put your feet up. Nice. Well, that is going to be everyone for today. Wow, that is noisy. For today's train simulator video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your day and I hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.